Hello there, welcome back to the channel and we have a special guest today. My cat sleeping on my CD player. What a legend. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about a new Opeth record that was just announced uh, four days ago. The Last Will and Testament. I already saw the leaks online, I saw the cover artwork and um, I had a feeling that it was the real deal and it was. And the uh, cover artwork, once again done by Travis Smith, reminded me of old Opeth, uh, early 2000s Opeth, uh, something like Deliverance or Ghost Reveries. Uh, Mikel already told uh, that uh, this will be a concept record about uh, family intrigues, uh, betrayal, uh, dark secrets, uh, stuff like that, something similar to Succession, the TV show. Uh, but uh, a bit darker, obviously, as um, as we can uh, hear in the first single and the cover artwork as well. Uh, there are eight tracks. Seven of them are uh, named um, by paragraph or um, section as part of a will. And the first single was actually section one or paragraph one. And what can I tell you? I'm excited for the first time after many years about the new Opeth record because the growls are back, baby. They're back big time. Um, I don't know what happened to Mikael. I, I thought we'll never hear growls, uh, death metal growls again on any Opeth release. But I was wrong. I think he likes to mess with his fans, which is fine. And... Um, I think the single is okay, it's a really solid song and to tell you the truth it is not better than some of the older stuff obviously but liking it so far, let's be honest, it's 2024, I cannot expect from Opet to release another Blackwater Park or Still Alive or even Ghost Reveries. This is how uh, this is actually how I expected Opet to sound in 2024 especially after In Cauda Venom. but I did not expect the growls will be back in any capacity ever again so that was a big surprise and I think that will be the big selling point for the record because many Opeth fans miss uh, the old death metal Opeth uh, I like the production it's textured it's layered but the only problem I have with it are the guitar to is the guitar tone the guitar sounds a bit thin I was hoping that it will be heavier more distorted, chuggier even, but uh, this is only one song, so we'll see how the rest uh, of the album sounds like, but like I said, I'm really excited, and also we have some guest appearances from uh, Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull, he will provide some backing vocals, obviously he's going to play flute on a couple of tracks, and also we have a guest appearance from Joy Tempest from uh, Europe, so that's something that I did not expect one bit, but uh, the album will be released, like I said, on October 11th, and I'm really excited, and I'm really looking forward to it, so this was a big, big, big surprise for me. If you haven't checked already, I covered Opeth, uh, reviewed and ranked their discography recently, so if, please do check that one out if you're interested, and... Uh, Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.